So after his last fight, Gervonta Davis has a lot of options on the table. I was thinking of a few options and here they are. First off the list is going to be the rematch with Pitbull Cruz. We all know how controversial their last fight was with many people thinking that Pitbull might have won that fight. And then there is a huge claim that Gervonta pretty much beat him with one hand. But no matter what, that fight was very entertaining and it was super close. It was the only time in Gervonta's last 21 fights that someone went the distance with him. Pitbull has been trying to get this rematch now for a while and hopefully one day in the future it'll happen. But with Pitbull holding the 140 WBA L, maybe that'll interest Gervonta and maybe moving up for a future clash. We'll just have to wait and see. It's kind of funny to me how in their first fight that neither of them actually had a knockout or even a knockdown. Both guys are pretty much known for their punching power and it's just kind of funny to me. But I'm sure in the rematch that there will definitely be bad blood and definitely a knockdown or a knockout. The next guy on the list that I wanted to talk about is going to be Ryan Garcia. We all know how their first fight went as it was a huge thing at the time. It was definitely one of the biggest boxing fights in recent history that I could remember of. But Ryan was obviously pretty drained that fight and as we look at him now he's pretty huge. He couldn't even make 140 which is kind of nuts to think about that he was making 135. Ryan definitely boosted his stock with that win though over Devin Haney and it seems like a lot of people want to fight him now. But he definitely has a lot of controversy going on outside the ring right now so I think he needs to get that fixed up first. And who knows what's going to happen if he's going to get banned or how long it would be so yeah we'll just have to wait for that. But also for the weight I'm guessing it would have to be at a catch weight as Ryan definitely is not going to 135. I think the main thing for their rematch if they ever had it would have to be the things in the contract. What the weight's going to be if there's a rehydration clause a lot of those things are going to matter and especially for Ryan. But yeah I mean we'll definitely have to see what happens first with Ryan Garcia and his whole situation outside the ring right now. But obviously Ryan wants their rematch but it's pretty much just a matter of what Tank wants to do with that. It's kind of like if he really wants to just risk that cause look what happened to Devin Haney. After the weigh in when Ryan was 3 pounds over Devin Haney didn't have to make the fight but he did. Ryan was on PEDs overweight and then pretty much embarrassed Devin Haney. So really it's just a matter of what Tank wants to do with this and if he really wants to risk it with Ryan. The next person we're going to talk about is Shakur Stevenson. These two have been beefing over the internet a lot recently and it's been spicing up. They've both been asked in multiple interviews and talked about it in multiple interviews about each other. It seems like they do both really want this fight and they're both confident in themselves to win it. The fight is definitely a nice mix of styles as Shakur likes to be an in and out type of boxer with very good defense. To where Gervonta is more of a counter puncher but also could put that pressure on anyone. So yeah, the fight would definitely be super interesting as these guys are two of the top lightweights. I think this fight is definitely going to happen one day, it kind of just depends on when. I think both these guys really do want this fight and whoever wins this fight is definitely going to be known as a legend. I think as this fight keeps getting more talked about, I think the more of a chance we'll have to get it. So yeah, we'll just have to wait in the future to see if this does happen, which I hope it does. And last but definitely not least is going to be Vasil Lomachenko. This fight has been talked about pretty much for ages now as everyone wants to see it happen. And as of recently, I think it might actually be happening. There was huge news that Bob Arum is trying to make this fight happen. And Gervonta's coach is posting stuff on Instagram hinting away at it. I think that for both these guys, it's definitely going to be their toughest test in their careers. I don't think Vasil's ever faced someone with that knockout power like Gervonta. And Gervonta's never faced someone as skilled as Lomachenko. It stinks that it took this long for this fight to even be a possibility, but it's better late than never. I think this fight could do pretty good numbers as both guys are definitely well respected in the boxing world. Lomachenko is getting older now and I'm sure he wants to take advantage of the time he has. And with him just beating George Cambosis and winning that IBF belt, he definitely wants to try and unify. Or even possibly make a push to try and be undisputed. We know how much of a gamer Lomachenko is and he's definitely not going to duck this fight. And for Tank, I think he does want to take this fight as well. I really do hope this fight goes through as it would be awesome to finally see it happen. But if it doesn't then Gervonta has so many good options on the table and I'm sure his next fight's going to be a banger no matter what. There's plenty of other names here that I haven't mentioned in the video as well that Gervonta could take as his next opponent. But I think it's at the point where the fans just want to see him fight these big names no matter what. Gervonta sold out plenty of arenas and sold many pay-per-views with opponents that most of the casuals don't know. But now I think it's time for him to face one of these top guys. In my own opinion, I hope that the Lomachenko fight goes on and then hopefully after that maybe he could fight Shakur Stevenson depending on the outcome. But we'll just have to wait and see what happens. More of the story, he definitely has a ton of options and it's going to be exciting no matter who he fights. Let me know in the comments who you guys think he should face off next. And if the fight with Lomachenko goes through, what's going to happen? Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.